Are you considering downsizing and moving into a smaller home and you're just not sure where to start? I have some great tips I want to share with you that I hope will help. Downsizing is tough. Deciding what to keep and not keep is really hard and it can be very time consuming. The first thing I suggest you do is take pictures. Take before and after pictures. This way you can see your accomplishments. Take inventory. Does it have a designated space in your new home? Get rid of your duplicates. Do you really need 50 shot glasses? Pick out a couple sentimental ones and your favorites and give the rest away. Get rid of those items that you're holding on to because you think you need to hold on to them. You will probably never use them, so let them go. Make a plan. Make a plan. Work one room at a time. Grade each room based on how much stuff is in there. Start with the small projects first that feel big so you have a great sense of accomplishment when you've completed the first room. Set a goal and set a completion date for each room. Create a sorting system. Garage sale items, give to family members, donate, trash, sell on Craigslist or Facebook. Is there a special family item that you wanna pass on to somebody? Consider giving legacy gifts early. If you're saving stuff for grandkids, you should ask yourself, do they really want this? Many of the millennials are saving experiences rather than material items. If you're planning to give items to a family member or friend, give them a deadline and tell them it's going to be gone after that time. If you like what you're hearing so far, go hit the subscribe button and the little bell for notifications. That way you'll be notified of all my upcoming videos. I also have a downsizing home checklist that you can request a copy of in the description below. Clothing, this is a tough one. Start small. If it doesn't fit, get rid of it. Us ladies have a habit of keeping things that might fit again one day because we're going to lose some weight or we keep them because we're going to gain the weight back. It is likely that if it fits you again, you're not going to like it anyway. So find someone who will look good in it now. Have you worn it in the past year? If not, you probably won't. Follow the 80-20 rule. 80% 80 of the time, we wear 20% of our clothes. Take a good look at that 80% you don't wear. Call a friend for help. Make it fun. Have wine and snacks and music. Stop buying more. I know this is super hard, especially when you find a good deal. Memorabilia is a tough one. How often do you really look back at memorabilia though? Take pictures of your memorabilia and create a scrapbook. Then you can get rid of the items and not have to store them anymore. Craft and hobby items are tough. They take up a lot of space. Maybe you bought these craft items so that you can do them during retirement. Maybe they were just a whim one time that you thought looked like a fun idea. If you're not going to use those in retirement, then give them away to someone who will use them. Hobby and craft items. This is a tough one because you may be saving them to do during retirement. Take a good look at them. Is this something you really will do in retirement? Or was it just a whim that you thought you might do someday? Get rid of those. If you're going to use it in retirement, then pack it away and bring it with you. Photos and paperwork. Scan what you can. If you're going to keep photos, be sure to label them on the back. Scan what you can. Scan those photos and create a photo album. Make sure you label all the photos on the back if you don't know who it is, throw it away. Distribute your old photos to family members or people who are in those photos. Scan your photos and make sure you put them on a separate hard drive so that you don't lose them. Purge your paperwork. Throw away income tax after seven years. If a statement can be found online, get rid of it. Scan all those pertinent papers and put them on your hard drive as well. Be sure to label all the boxes that you keep 
and keep an inventory of all of the items. This is great for insurance purposes. You might take a video of them also. Have you used it in the past year or have you worn it in the past year? Most things are easy to buy again if you need it five years from now. So get rid of it. If you have any questions at all, please be sure to put a comment below or send me a private message. I'd be happy to answer any questions you have. Thank you so much for watching.